Today we're going to be talking about the new release of NVIDIA DLSS as a native plugin for Unreal Engine 4 and how in a single click you can take your frame rates from something like this to something like this. Here we go. So I have to admit, this NVIDIA DLSS native plugin for Unreal Engine 4 almost slipped under my radar, and I imagine it probably did for a lot of you as well. So first off, you're going to want to follow the link in the description and just go and scroll on down. And once you click on the agreement, you can download the plugin and install it very quickly. The download should finish pretty quickly. And once you've done that, go ahead and locate where the zip file is, right click and extract it. And now all you have to do is place it in the correct position for your Unreal Engine. It only supports version 4.26 and above, so make sure you're on a corresponding version. It might take a moment to locate your install folder for Unreal Engine, but it's under the Epic Games folder, Unreal Engine 4.26 Engine, Plugins, Runtime, NVIDIA, and finally you're going to drop that DLSS folder you extracted into that. From there, go ahead and start up the Epic Games Launcher, and whenever you create a new project, here I'm just doing the first-person shooter template, once it's loaded, and I'm not going to make you sit through that, but once it's loaded, it's going to notify you that you have new plugins. Just go ahead and click on Manage Plugins, and go ahead and search for DLSS and check that box there. Now you're going to need to reset the engine one more time, go ahead and do that, and after this, you're almost all set. NVIDIA did mention it in their documentation, so I want to mention it here. Once you're back in the engine, go up to Edit Project Settings and go ahead and double check, search for DLSS and make sure that it is enabled in the viewer. Once you confirm that, go ahead and close that out and now you have access to the DLSS menu bar in your viewer controls. And in just a moment here, we'll go over what the different settings do and the corresponding performance boosts you can hope to expect. The gains from DLSS are pretty dramatic, especially if you happen to be using ray tracing settings inside of Unreal Engine 4. And I do want to mention that when I first turned them on, it did take a while for it to actually go up to its final frame rate. So you can see I'm turning it on here and I'm going from an abysmal 11 frames per second to once I turn on DLSS, in a number of seconds, it goes to a really, really good quality setting, especially if you're using ultra performance setting, to it's almost 60 frames per second. And that's with ray tracing settings still on. But let's go ahead and dig into the actual settings themselves, look at it at native resolution and see what the gains actually are for each setting and the quality loss that goes along with it. So in a series of wipes, take a look at the performance gains here. So with DLSS off, we're at 11 frames per second. Turn up to quality, will put us up to 23 frames per second. Setting it to balance, which is kind of the middle ground, will give us 27 frames per second. And then we start getting into bigger jumps with performance at 34, and then ultra performance, which is meant more for 8K screens. You jump all the way up to 63 frames per second, which is a huge, huge gain, and really not that much quality loss. Now with the wipe sped up here, you can see in the background with the computer monitors, the depth of field does seem to be affected quite a bit, and things that are out of focus definitely get more crispy and a little bit funky with the DLSS turned on, but the foreground characters really don't look that that bad compared to the original quality with DLSS even off. And if you're looking at areas like the side of the furnace, I actually prefer what it looks like with DLSS on, maybe set to quality, even versus having the DLSS off at native resolution because it kind of softens out the noise you have there a little bit and looks a little bit smoother. Here's a still from a second shot here that's taken from a sequencer sequence. And you can see here that we have some depth of field in the foreground and in the background. And you're going to see how that's adjusted a little bit. But we're going to crop in again to get a better idea on what this will look like at a native 1920 by 1080 crop. Like last time at a glance, it doesn't look like we're losing too much at each DLSS step. And I do want to point out that a lot of the flickering or differences in the frames are actually the GI bounces that are not completely settled at that particular moment. But if you look closely, you do see things like at the shadows on screen left from the lantern, underneath the plank that the lantern is setting on, the fall off on that shadow definitely gets affected as you go down in quality from DLSS. And also, very oddly, the depth of field in the foreground actually falls off and gets removed after the native resolution once you start to add in the DLSS steps. Cycling back to the beginning here, I also thought it was interesting that if you look at the lava lamp, the translucency and the refraction at the top of the lava lamp actually looks a little bit better once you get in the DLSS steps and you get the feeling that you're seeing through more to the background than you do otherwise. While it's not quite as simple as injecting the plugin into a version of Unreal, like with other plugins, compared to having to build from source code like you do with pretty much every other NVIDIA technology, this is a great thing that NVIDIA has done. Well, I haven't at all spent enough time with this plugin so far. I wanted to get out some initial findings and how excited I am to actually have this built into the vanilla releases of an Engine 4 that you can get through the Epic Games launcher. 
I think it's safe to say that the quality boost is gigantic. And while you have to have an RTX card right now, I think probably AMD is going to have similar offerings down the road as well. And we can actually start to enjoy ray tracing in our engine. And even if you're rendering at full quality without DLSS, just being able to interact in the viewer a lot more easily when you're laying things out is a great thing. If you're actually looking to get a look at the RTX GI or the Flex or other NVIDIA tech and you want to build that from source, go and check out the other videos on the channel that I've released. that will take you through all the steps of downloading the source code, compiling it and actually getting plugins in there as well, which can be of great use if you don't need to always be with, with the absolutely newest release of Unreal Engine 4. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Let me know if you're excited about DLSS and if it's giving you as big a performance boost as I've seen. Be excited to hear that down in the comments. I'll see you on the next Johnny How-To.